you you know it, it only takes five pounds of pressure like Denzel Washington says it takes five pounds of pressure to pull the trigger five pounds of pressure so when you're doing that five pounds of pressure you already know what you're going to do like if I didn't like you and and you know we had history together and I didn't like you and I'm going to your job the Ford dealer to go and and I have plenty of opportunities to change your mind and stuff if I'm going there and I do that five pounds of pressure that means that's it your mind's set and it, you know it's just the last administration showed that it's good to hate on people and that's why I shut people down in the car. I tell them, listen, I don't hate nobody. Yeah. You know, I have no reason to hate you. I mean, you give me a reason, I'm gonna hate you. I'm from the street. <laughs> I'm Jamaica Queens, tomorrow. <laughs> we can be, we, we, we'll turn on you quick when we, you know, we hate you. But, you know, when I'm coming out here, I give everybody a fair shake. Yeah. You come into my car, man, I'll see you again. I may see you, but you know what? You come into my car and we ride, we can talk, whatever. At the end of the day, I know there's no hatred in your heart. You know, there's none in mine, so we good. But that's crazy, like, right, when the hate goes up in a household, like with the family, like, you're supposed to be a husband, right? But but secretly, you hate your wife, and she doesn't know that, because you're smiling and doing all the things. And I heard that a lot of men, they could uh, they could sleep with women for years and don't like them. Yeah, I heard that. You know, but, but you know what's the saying that they say? It's cheaper to keep them. Cheaper. If you have money, and, like, you live, wow. like, where you see where you dropped off that car? If you have that home and you have, you're comfortable, you ain't rich, but you're comfortable. You know what the law, the lawyers say out here? Hey, it's cheaper to keep them. But you're hateful in your yeah. heart and you can't stand yeah. this person. Well, that's what they say. You know what? Now you live like roommates. You do But your why? Thing. Why would you want to live like you that when like, it's a miserable life? Once, I know, but once you say, because it's cheaper to keep them. Because you ain't, if you know if you're that's out, crazy. the judge is going to go to her. Now she gets your home. You know, she gets so it's all about she gets, things. Yeah, exactly. So that's why the lawyers say it's cheaper. And I've driven lawyers before. And I, they, I hear them out. on the phone, conversations, and they always apologize. I'm sorry, I'm going to litigation. Wow. And they go, you know what, we still people, sometimes it's cheaper to keep them. If you have an opening understanding that you do your thing, I do my thing, and nothing comes back to the house, it's cheaper to keep them. He goes, it hurts my money, because I'd rather wow. divorce them. But um, if I know good people, that they just stay good with each other. They don't hate each other. If I, obviously, the ones that hate each other, I tell them, listen, that's it. Just try to go with a mutual agreement. You take this, I take that, and get out get out of my face. I don't want to see you again, and that's it. I feel like it's still some form of hate if you're living in the same house, yeah, not talking to each yeah. other, and now all you're doing is worrying about just the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just leave. Like, it doesn't matter. Work out some type of settlement. Just leave. Right. Uh, because at the end of the day, even though it's cheaper to keep her, uh, you're going to be miserable. You're not going to be happy. Well, you know, you're those people, what they're going to do, they have their summer home. They go over there. They do their <laughs> little cuckoo. The you woman goes, meets a thin the guy. Street. They do their thing. Then when they come home, they come home like, like per unless one of them get into a relationship with an outsider, then that's when they go, okay, you got to go. Or let's make a deal. That's and, and, and that's what the lawyer, when I had him one time, he says it. That's what they do. They all go Let's their own make path. A deal. They all go their own path. And then when one of them gets into a relationship quick, when one of them do, that's when they come back and they call me. That's what the lawyer tells me. They call me and they want to make a deal. They want to make a do deal. this. That's, uh, I, I, I can't. The other person don't want me to live with her no more. The other person don't want me to live with him no more. So now you go into the next relationship and you're totally not healed. Yeah. You're just there for convenience. Rebound. You're yeah. rebound and you're just there for convenience uh, yeah. as well. Yeah. So now you're creating a whole nother situation. Because yeah. remember. Now the next person gets hurt. Oh, there you go. Because you, you still hurt. You're still traumatized. Right. And you're deceitful. Oh but my honestly, goodness. Honestly, between me and you, if abroad, if I'm with abroad and she's married and I really like her, she's married, I'm not going to take her seriously. You know why? She's living at home with her husband. She's cheating behind his back. <laughs> what makes me special? Okay, I love that you said that. What makes me special? But now it's all like... peachy. Now it's peachy and dandy. <laughs> and you. But when you say one day, um, uh, you just get mad at me or something. So what's going to happen? Wow. Now you're going to do the same thing to me? Yeah, and then look, how you feel when she's sitting there uh, talking to her husband in front of your face? Do you trust this person? Yeah, of course not. That's when you go back and you go, nah, she's not a, she's she's not a keeper. It's like that old saying, in 1, feet, it could go both ways in this one. You can't make a hoe into a housewife. Wow. You know? Yeah, but then what happens when one of same the Same thing as a guy. Like, a guy's all, you know, right, right. out there 
getting his women on, doing his thing. I mean, the whole even the guy as a whole too. Not yeah, just he is. You know, if he's out there and he's with different women every night and everything, then he finally settles on you. What, what do what you think he's gonna change? And go? Oh, please, uh, absolutely. And then what happens when the uh, one party leave the marriage and um, you was cheating with them and they and they with you now? What 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 do you think? You're special. <laughs> At the moment you're special uh -huh. and you're this and then what? Uh -huh. When they get bored, that's that's when somebody gets bored. That's, that's when you're bored of life and you just have to have constant change. Uh, Which way you go through over there? Right there, yeah, that's fine. That's when you have a